You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Come on, nigga, we burning daylight. Let's go, man, the clock's ticking. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. The old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone. And I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Well, you going to answer the question or what? <gasps> You're going to track the cop. <clears throat> uh, like I was saying, we, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran every day. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and a leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the going? baby into the water. MP goes eight. Where was I? So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes eight. Tell someone, dive in after the kid, start screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some gook getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig.
Watch out! Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, you're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp. You're gonna attract the cops! <laughs> There they are. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some gook getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God. Damn. It's not a fault. It's not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall. They will do anything to survive. 
That better been one delicious fucking pig. Guards at the Missouri probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Where the hell you going, Lincoln? Ah, here we go. Put your IDs up to the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You need to check that scattergun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One last goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's yeah, over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. But that old nigga who staggers in is hide on the spot. These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! 
Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Uh, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. He's here, then he gets sent to Dallas, then he comes back. Uh, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Put those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil, we don't get soot all over the goddamn place. <laughs> God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. We've been written out. Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them they'd be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30 day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that. Come on, we need to get this vault open. We shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. <sighs> My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Give me that damn thing.
smoke! Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around! Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. He is Who the fuck is coming for us? Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. Well, he's fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. to Empire Bay a year or so after you shot. Drive, Lincoln, drive! <laughs> All set to shoot! They're gonna call me a hero for killing you! Come on, now! Don't let those crackers show you up! Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been... <laughs> Where the fuck you going? Out of the oh, way. Why aren't you a course so-and-so? Where was I? Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Any 
anyway. And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Stop. Where the fuck you going? I'd appreciate it if you'd move, you slow ass. Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashed? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Started selling weed. They called and asked me if I want some. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. 
Fuck it, it's no car. Bash it up all you want. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. <laughs>